guys, what's up and welcome back. And if you are new here, hi, hello, and welcome. Before we actually start this video, I do just wanna take a second and check in with you guys because I know 2020 has been a whirlwind of emotions for everyone, some more than others, but nonetheless, we have all been impacted differently. I promise I'm not trying to take up much of your time. I know you guys wanna see this review. I just wanna briefly let you guys know that if anyone needs anyone to talk to, if you need an ear or a new perspective on anything, I know the world is just so crazy and chaotic right now. I just really wanted to let you guys know that my DMs are always open whether you follow me or not. This truly is a no judgment zone and I just want to let you know that if you do need that ear to listen, I am here for you guys. But okay, that's it. We can move on to the review. Just wanted to put that out there. But if it wasn't already obvious, I don't have any foundation or complexion products on my face and that is because today we are going to be trying on and doing a first impressions and review of the new e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. This does retail for $4. $14. I'm more familiar with the e.l.f. foundations that are more $6 to $10. So $14, that's not too uncommon for this kind of product, but for e.l.f., it's a little more expensive than I've seen from them, but I know this has a lot of good ingredients in it. And just reading right off the packaging, the claims on this says it is a color correcting, it has full coverage with a natural finish. And it does also have SPF of 30 in it, which is so amazing. And those good ingredients that I was talking about include collagen, peptides, and niacinamide. And when I first heard that this had niacinamide in it, my oily skin self knew I had to try this out because my skin loves niacinamide. And I got mine in the shade Fair 120N. Um, this is made with neutral and beige undertones. My skin has a lot of redness in it, um, but my actual skin tone is pretty more olivey to neutral. So I don't know. We'll see how this shade is on me. I was actually a little lost when it came to the actual shown swatches of this. So it was a little hard to find my shade online, but we're just hoping for the best here. Oh, and I did want to mention, on my eyes, I am using the new e.l.f. Lash It Loud Mascara. This launched at the same time of the CC cream, so I did want to go ahead and purchase it and try it out. I do like it. I just want to be honest. Um, it does claim to be a volumizing mascara. I'm not getting a lot of, like, thickness in terms of volume, um, but the natural length on this, I'll do a little side view for you guys. I am super impressed that this has very nice natural length. For $6, I can't complain. It's a pretty decent mascara. Just Definitely not my favorite, um, but I did want to let you guys know that I did try it out. And if you want to go ahead and see the wand, it has a really good defining wand on it. So this is really great to get all of those eyelashes nice and defined. Okay, but going back into the CC cream, I did already prep my skin. I used the Glow Recipe Banana Souffle Moisture Cream. And then for a primer, of course, my go-to, I use the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I'm going to go ahead and zoom you guys in so we can get the full effect of this product review. Okay, how is that for a close-up? I'm keeping the lights a little bit more dim. I like to do that with complexion product reviews, just so you can kind of see my natural complexion and natural skin tone. As you can see, like I mentioned earlier, I do pull a little bit red in the face, so I am excited and curious to see how much this is going to cover. And I'm gonna be using two different tools to go ahead and try this product out. On one half of my face, I am going to go in with a complexion brush. This is just the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. And then on the other half of my face, I am just going in with a slightly damp beauty sponge. I really hope this is the shade for me. I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bit on the back of my hand here just to see. Okay, I'm gonna start out with one, let's start out with two pumps and I'm just gonna go ahead and place this on my face here. Okay, <laughs> so off the bat, it is a little on the light side for me. Again, this is in the shade Fair 120N. So. Not a lot of shades to choose from, but I'm hoping for the best here still once I blend this all out. And I don't know if you guys can see that, this is a little bit on the thicker side, which I actually like, especially for a full coverage. Hopefully I'm not putting on too much. <laughs> but we're just gonna go ahead and try to blend that out. Yeah, this is way too light for me. We're just gonna roll with it. Hopefully I can blend it out and warm out my face with a bronzer or something afterwards. It's blending out pretty, pretty nice with a beauty sponge. And it actually has a very similar fragrance to the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation. It smells exactly like that. Okay, so besides the fact that I got the complete wrong shade, we're going to continue to blend this out. And we're just going to go ahead and critique it on the actual finish. And with the beauty sponge, I don't know if you can see, I can still see a lot of my redness peeking through. Um, but that's always the case when I use a sponge to apply any complexion product. I am noticing, and again, I do have oily skin, um, but I am still noticing, I don't know if it's picking up on camera. As far as applying it with a sponge, I am seeing it cling to a couple patches on my skin. 
As far as the claim on color correcting, I think it did a pretty okay job. I do have uneven skin tone. So we are seeing a little bit of my problematic skin peeking out, but that's just my skin. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put some on my other side and see how it applies with the brush. And I'm actually gonna put on a little less because I feel like I applied a little bit too much. And who knows, maybe that's why it's clumping up a little bit on some areas of my face. So again, I'm just gonna go in with a complexion brush right here and we are gonna go ahead and just buff that into the skin. Okay, and off the bat, I am getting more full coverage, of course, with the brush, that's always the case. Again, I wish I had gotten this in my right shade, but the swatches were a little misleading online. This looked a little bit more olivey in the actual swatch. So I am curious to see um, some other videos and reviews on this to see what my actual shade in this is. I'm actually liking the way it looks better with a sponge. I feel like it looks less cakey because I am noticing just a lot of like pilling and building up on this side that I use the brush. So I'm going to go over and use the damp sponge and just kind of see if that kind of evens out. It definitely looks the worst on my forehead. I'm not minding it so much everywhere else. A little in my chin area, uh, but definitely up the bridge of my nose and across my forehead. Again, I'm not sure if that's relaying on camera at all very well. I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and try to save this look by warming it up with some bronzer. I think I'm the worst at actually picking out my own shade. It's so hard doing all the shopping online because I'm definitely not going into stores at the moment. Especially when there are no reviews right when I got this. I got this literally the day it launched, the morning of. I think I saved this a little bit, but not as best as I probably could have. <laughs> so doing another like once over, I'm not minding it in this portion. It's definitely looking horrible on my forehead. Maybe I should have exfoliated or something. That's probably my fault. I'm curious to see other people's reviews on this. And honestly, a little did go a long way. I still have a little bit on the back of my hand and that was only just two pumps. Maybe in the future, I'll probably spread out one pump around the entire face. As far as the claims on like that natural skin, I do have to agree with that. I do have that nice, healthy, glowing skin. So I do really, really love that aspect. I'm definitely kicking myself by not picking up the right shade um, because now I feel like I can't even use this. If I'm gonna go ahead and rate this on a scale from one to 10, I'm probably gonna give this a seven. I don't wanna be too harsh because again, I did get the wrong shade, but I'm solely just basing that rating on the actual application of this product. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys out so you don't have to see this mix matched color too much longer. Okay, so this looks a little bit better from farther away. Okay guys, but if you like this video, go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up. And if you wanna see more, go ahead and just subscribe below. And as always, I will see you next time.